In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to customize the CATIA environment using the Options settings. Under Tools, select Options. I'm going to explain some of these settings, not all of them in this tutorial though. But as we do progress through these lessons, we will keep returning to this window to make some changes. First, under the General tab, is our user interface style. Platform configuration P1, P2, and P3. P1 is the entry level user platform. P2 uses a more complex environment. That's for product lifecycle development, let's say. P3 is often used in the automotive and aerospace industry. Data save. An automatic backup is useful for preventing loss of data due to a computer crash. You can change the time, specify your interval, and here you can specify the time duration when a CATIA session will be deactivated if you haven't used it. Reference documents. If you load some documents which have children links and this checkbox is selected, those child documents will be loaded as well. Drag and drop, you can activate and deactivate that here. Now let's go to display. Here you can set specifications for your tree. For this tutorial, we'll use the classical window style. Selecting the tree show no show checkbox will make your items in no show space gray in the specification tree. Next, let's go to the Navigation tab. If the Pre-Selection Navigator After checkbox is checked, here's what happens. If you leave your mouse over an item, here, the default is 2 seconds, a pop-up window will appear asking you which item you want to select. I'm going to leave this unchecked for now. In the Performance tab, we can adjust the three-dimensional accuracy. When a big project is loaded, CATIA might respond slowly, depending on your graphic card speed and your computer speed. Well, here is where you adjust the accuracy. You can make it higher or lower. I'm going to leave it as the default for now. Next tab, we've got visualization. Here we can choose a graduated color for the background and change your background as well. You can also change the color of different elements, but I recommend that you leave the default settings at least until you're more familiar with the CATIA environment. Next, I'll select Parameters and Measure. Let's go to Units. Here we can set different units. For example, we could see length in millimeters or inches. I'm going to change it back to millimeters. We can also change the time from seconds to milliseconds, mass, density, and so on. Next, let's look at product structure under the infrastructure area part number, and manual input are checked. Let's close it for now. What this allows, when I create a new document and select the product, click OK. Now CATIA prompts me with a window to ask me for the new product name. Let's use the default. Click OK. Later on, I can change the name of this product, of course. Right-click, Properties, My Product, for example. Click Apply. OK. That's what this tab is for. Let's go back to Options. That's what this checkbox allows. Now let's go to Part Infrastructure, Display, Check 
all of these options so we can see everything in the specification tree. Next is the Part Document tab. Click Display New Part dialog box. All right, let me show you this part. When I create a new part, click OK. Now Katia prompts me with a new part dialog box. Here, you can enter the part name. And generally here, you want to check Enable Hybrid Design. This means, for example, that you can work with wireframes and surface features in the same document. I'm going to cancel for now. Tools, Options. That's what this dialog box is for. Next, let's look at Mechanical Design. Under Assembly Design, the General tab, choose Manual Updates. This I'll explain in the Assembly tutorial later on. Next, let's go to Sketcher. Here we have the primary spacing field for our, our grid. We can change this value depending on what kind of model we're working on. Graduations. This shows how many lines are used to split the primary spacing. Let me show you how this works. Let's go back to Parameters and Measures, Units, and let's change our units to inches. OK, let's go back to the sketcher. Change to 1 inch. Graduations, let's change to 4. Click Tab. Now I can work with a quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and so on. If I change my graduations to 8, I can work with divisions of 8, 3 eighths of an inch, 5 eighths of an inch, etc. Next, let's go to drafting. Here we have a number of options as well. It shows ruler. You can set up your primary spacing and graduation. We will return many times to this panel during this course. And this concludes our tutorial on options.